Roller derby has been around for decades, but didn't skate into the national spotlight until the late 70s with teams like Bay City Bombers and the Thunderbirds appearing nightly on primetime television. But as you're about to see in tonight's Eye on Keloland, the helmet throwing, elbow smashing and knee bruising sport is back and Sioux Falls is in the mix. Meet the Derby Dolls, Sioux Falls' newest recruits in training at a school of hard knocks. Well, we've got mothers, we've got college students, we've grandmothers. It's everybody. It's, it's people who are stay-at-home moms. There's professional women. There's full-time students, part-time waitresses. The, they, we run the gamut. Two nights a week, 28 women get together to exchange a few pleasantries. We have a lot of girls that are have a lot of angst in their lives so when it comes to roller derby it's the time for them to get out skate hard and throw a couple of elbows the derby dolls are part of the women flat track roller derby association a league which is now 30 teams strong and counting and to these women this is a sport yes that's exactly how you do it get up you all right Unlike the roller derby we saw in the 70s and 80s where most of it was choreographed, the women here say that this roller derby is the real stuff. The bouts are three 20-minute periods played between two teams. Each has seven skaters, including the jammer who starts in the back of the pack and then tries to pass the other team's skaters as many times as possible. Their jammers are the ones that are going to go around and try to score. They have to break through that pack. But breaking through the pack isn't easy. Girls, put your shoulders together and push her out of the way. I'm afraid of getting a tooth knocked out. Becca Essen is a college student and former model. She says this type of skating isn't for the faint of heart. Uh, I think a lot of girls don't know what they're getting into at first. So when you go to practices a few days, the second day you're just sore. Uh, I'm a waitress and... I can't even walk up the stairs sometimes because it's very physically demanding. It's a very dangerous sport, so you need to be an efficient skater so that you don't hurt someone else or yourself. Even though all skaters are required to wear helmets, wrist guards, elbow and knee pads, they still get injuries. We're playing on cement here. <laughs> it's important to be in great shape. The person who could be in the best shape is Nancy Apple. She's a second grade teacher from Castlewood who's not only a former figure skater, but worked at a roller rink for 23 years, and it shows. The rink that I worked at in Watertown closed about two years ago, so I haven't had any outlet to skate or let out my aggression <laughs> from a long day of teaching. No, <laughs> just kidding. The physical demands of roller derby even has this polished skater doing extra work. And I'm not a weightlifter, and I don't like to lift weights, but I actually went in and said, okay, I went to our football coach and said, you got to help me out here and you have to show me how to lift, what to do to work on my upper body strength. The women even have stage names to go along with their personalities. Names like Appalicious, Inspector Beck, and Painmaker. When I'm on the phone with the der Derby girls, um, I'll say, yeah, this is Painmaker. And my daughter, my five-year-old, will go, the Painmaker in the background. And she's a future Derby doll. Like anything new, the sport has its critics. We're all receiving criticism from friends and family, and they mean the best, but they're like, what are you doing? What they are doing is making a statement about women and sports. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to start something that is so competitive, so physical, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Um, it's also alternative, so it kind of appeals to some of the women who maybe are looking for an outlet. But they'll be competing against other women looking for that same outlet. Oh, the Derby Dolls will continue practicing until their first bout, which is March 31st. Mark it down on your calendar. If you'd like to learn more about the Derby Dolls and the rest of the Flat Track Association, we've set up links on our website at kettleland.com. Just click on the Derby Dolls story. I Looks love like to fun. rollerblade, roller skate. I'm way too much of a wimp to do something like that. It's a little rough. What's in it for them? I mean, are they, what are they getting out of this besides maybe the thrill of the game? But they don't get paid. Oh, no, okay. but they pay the price. Some